All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And today we're going to be reacting to The Terminator. Uh, neither of us have seen this movie, amazingly. It is a classic sci-fi movie. I don't know if it's necessarily horror, but we also saw Aliens last week, which was kind of an action movie itself and not really horror. So I think we're kind of moving on a little bit to a little bit of sci-fi horror. Um, I don't know anything about this movie except that it's got Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, and I've never seen a movie with him in it, um, and that he's, I think, sent from the future on, like, some mission. But besides that, like, I don't know much about the plot. I haven't seen, I don't think, any of like, any imported scenes. So I'm mostly in the dark. Um, and honestly, pretty excited to just get into it. Uh, as always, the full-length reactions are going to be up on Patreon, along with early access to next week's reaction. We'll probably be watching Terminator 2. Uh, so please go check those out. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, let's just get into The Terminator. Oh, it's another James Cameron movie. I did this not man know that. He's made everything. Is there anything that he didn't make? <laughs> Apparently not. That's like six years from now. 2029? Yeah, and this is what this is what the world looks like right now. Great. <laughs> oh jeez. Hmm. Interesting. Man, something something about the opening credits in 80s movies just hits different. <laughs> like they're just it, they don't they're not trying too hard. It's just cool cool visuals, man. What the hell? Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, this guy's dying. Maybe if he runs away, he'll be okay. Hey, my turn. He was just trying to look, dude. <laughs> I've hey, never hey, seen. <laughs> what's wrong with his picture? Oh. <laughs> he could pulverize nice all of you in two walk, seconds. Hey. Yeah, I have a feeling he's about to. Nice night for a walk. You close. Give them oh. to me now. I think Fuck that actor you, is- asshole. He was in Aliens. That's Bill Paxton. Oh my gosh. Yay, yeah, remember he was the- he was one of the- oh, okay. Did he just rip his heart out? An insane move, to be sure. Wait. Is this somebody else? <laughs> I think so. This doesn't look like- this is a skinnier fella. Who seems to be in considerably more pain. Yeah, what is happening? Hey buddy, did you just see a real bright light? Hold it right there! It's rabbiting. Hey! I said hold it! Wait. Go. So the cops just got a report that some random naked guy murdered a bunch of people. But this is not so. your guy! But he does not even remotely look like the same man. <laughs> no, but I think without clothing to identify them, that might be a little hard. What day is it? The date! Oh my gosh. 12th, May, Thursday. What year? Oh my gosh. I already love how this is shot. Just like the, the <laughs> moving with all the clothes flying by. Oh my gosh. Nah, that makes you look so suspicious, no my guy. <laughs> See, okay, I'm trying to figure out if this guy is a human because he doesn't seem particularly scared of anything. So he might be like strong or, or bulletproof or something, but also he has got all this emotion, which is weird. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a very different vibe than the Arnold Schwarzenegger guy. Like, yeah. When he showed up. Sarah Connor. I feel like I've heard that name before. I think I have too. Oh, his outfit's so funny. It's so like not him at all. <laughs> yep. Is 
Is that how cars work? <laughs> in the future, yeah. <laughs> this is 1984. I think he's got all these robot skills. No, but I think he's got these robot skills yeah. that allow him to like hack into the computer. Who gets the burly uh, beef? I ordered barbecue beef. I think that's mine, but I didn't Who order fries. The We're ready to order now. Yes, ma'am. Uh, oh. This is just gonna give me like stress. I'm so sorry. This isn't real leather, is it? Kid. Uh, kid. Look at this way. In a hundred years, who's gonna care? Oh, customer service jobs. Touch the trigger, the beam comes on, and you put the red dot where you want the bullet to go. You can't miss. Do you have money to pay for these, my guy? I don't think he needs millimeter. money. I think he's in a position of power here. Oh, your weapons, buddy. Any one of these is ideal for home defense. Which will it be? Yeah, this guy really yeah. looks like he's after home defense. Yeah. That's definitely what he's buying it so, for. 15-day uh, wait on handguns and rifles you can take right now. You can't do that. Wrong. Wait, yeah, what the I mean, heck? No, I, I, I didn't think that. Because you're right, he doesn't have money. I thought he was just going to like he... steal them or threaten him, not immediately kill the guy. I'm getting a, a very strong sense that he has very little motivating him to, to not kill anyone. I need you to come pick me up. My bike just broke down. I don't care what you're doing. Come and get me. What? <laughs> you got a serious attitude problem. What's so special about Sarah? Come on. Sarah Kana? Yes. Did he get the wrong one? Definitely. Well, there's there was multiple oh. in the yeah, phone book. Yeah, there were a bunch. So he's so just he's just going to go kill all of them. He's just going to go them, through then. them all and get all of them? Sarah, come here. It's about you. I mean, sort of. I mean, he clearly doesn't care. Mhm. Mm once again, Sarah Connor brutally shot to death in her home this afternoon. <sighs> You're dead, honey. Late breaking news. She's like, oh. I don't think that was as funny as her friend thought it was. <laughs> she was like, Bestie, you're gonna love this. Someone with the same name as you was brutally murdered. Yeah, just wait till she finds out that it's gonna keep happening. Okay, so this this guy is human then, because he he can't like jumpstart the car just with his finger. Yeah, he's got to be a human. So is, did he like come back to like protect her, Sarah? Well, if he's human, they said the and the like robots are fighting the humans. Yeah. So, so he, he's probably if come back in time to yeah, prevent if he's a machine, the Terminator from doing whatever yeah. he's gonna do. Oh yikes! Rip. Yikes. There's so many power cords in this bathroom. So many wires. So many wires. You know. First, I'm gonna rip the buttons off your blouse and then run my tongue down your neck to your bare What? Breast, and then slowly. Okay. Is this her, okay, it's her I boyfriend? Think this is like a stalker situation. Oh no, is it real? Wait. Girl, no. Ginger, it's Matt. I don't Ugh. like this man one bit. I hope this man what a, mm, dies. It's just so, such a weird way to answer the phone. Sarah? It's not even... <sighs> um, I thought you were... It, can, can I talk to Ginger, please? Oh, that's so awkward. Yeah, that's... Ugh. It's the creep. Hello? First, I'm up the button. <laughs> Repeat the <laughs> same just go right back thing. Into it. <laughs> Put your hands on you! Get out of Sarah Ann Connor, secretary, 35 shots Wait, six times. This guy, too. He was the android in the last. In oh Aliens. my gosh. You're right. What? The wow. 80s, man. They were like, these are the you actors that we <laughs> we're love. using the same people. Look at the name, Ed. Sarah Louise Connor. The press is going to be short stroking a one day pattern killer. I hate the weird ones. Oh, look at that hair. So. <laughs> And those shoulder pads, my goodness, the 80s, what a wild time. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, this is your mom. There you are, Hi, young Hi. man. They have an iguana? What a fun pet. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, Stan Morsky. Uh, something's come up. I'm really sorry, I'll, I'll make oh, it. That's a bummer. He can't treat you like this. It's Friday night, for Christ's sake. I'll live. I'll break his kneecaps. Oh, true friend. <laughs> true friendship. Pugsley still loves me, don't you, baby? <gasps> Matt! 
Is that a thing friends do? <laughs> Matt is not making a great first impression <laughs> on this. Oh, parking garages, they're very spooky. Oh, okay, it's not Arnold. I don't even know what this man's name is. I'm just going to keep calling him Arnold. Um, but it's not Arnold. It's our other well, boy. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the Terminator, right? Like, I, I think I, that's official. Yeah, okay. I'm that's pretty true. sure I know that. So I think we can call him Terminator. But this this other guy is just some dude. Did you reach the next girl yet? No, I keep getting an answer machine. Call her again. Hi there. Ha ha ha. Fooled you. You're talking to a machine. I have a friend who has a voicemail like that, and I hate it. Oh, man. I hate it. I always fall for it. If I can get on the tube by 11 o'clock, maybe she'll call us. How do I look? Like shit, boss. Yo, mama. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Police have announced the name of the victim. Sorry, I have the sense of humor of, like, a 10-year-old. <laughs> in her Santa Monica apartment, Can we change Sarah this? Sure. Louise Connor was slain Don't by a lone it. gunman, and no other connection between the two victims has been established as of yet. That'd be really scary if people, yeah, that would be with your name sort of so dropping like flies. Isn't it crazy that you could just like get people's like numbers and addresses from a book yeah. back in the day? It's so wild that this was a thing. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna hurt her, but he's acting the most suspicious. He looks, yeah, he looks so scary right now. And if if he's still got the gun in his jacket, like there is, there's no getting away with this. Nine one one. That's so scary. Having to like find a phone to call nine one one. I know. Please stay on the line. <laughs> Well, and not wanting to use like a public phone because you're just out and exposed. Oh, what's gonna happen to her roommate? Cause she's home. Yeah. <laughs> How did they get footage of me alone in my house? Honestly, same. <laughs> Late night snacks. Don't be mean to Pugsley. I had a feeling it was gonna be Whoa. him. Don't make me bust you up, man. You're about to die, sir. Oh my gosh. Just stay down, bro. Maybe he'll leave you alone. Something tells me Matt is not the kind of man to back off from the fight. Oh. Hi there. I fooled you. You're talking to a machine. Ginger, this is Sarah. Pick up if you're there. I'm at this place on Tico. Oh no. I'm really scared. I think that there's somebody after me. Oh, a picture? I think there's a guy following me. All right, now listen, Miss Connor. You're in a public place, so you'll be safe till we get there. I'll have a car there in a hot minute. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna care that this is a public club, man. No. He does not care. Hey, that guy did you pay? Honestly, my guy, you're lucky that's the worst you got. <gasps> Yikes. Wait, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh man, these poor innocent people who are getting caught in the crossfire. I know. Come with me if you want to live. Is that where this is from? Is that where the that line is from? I think I think so. Girl, you better listen to him. Come on! Oh, now this is interesting. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Ugh. 
This is 1L19. I got a hit and run felony. Ugh. Oh, oh, no! Same girl. Insane. Are you injured? Are you shot? She's traumatized. Do exactly what I say. Do you understand? Please don't hurt me. Oh my gosh. She's just on the sidewalk now, fully on the sidewalk. This is me driving in GTA. <laughs> gosh. Taking all the back roads, baby. I'm here to help you. I'm Reese. Sergeant Techcom, BN 38416, assigned to protect you. Yeah, no, that, that means nothing to her. You've been targeted for termination. This is 1L19, westbound and Olympic. That's what? so creepy. I don't like that at all. What? This is a mistake. I didn't do anything. What is it? Like, it's what very is it important to live. How could that man just get up? He's not a man. Yeah, discover something she's gotta have some role in like yeah. defeating one, zero, or one. fighting the robots mm -hmm. in the future right get on that freeway oh that's not a freeway never mind <laughs> oh is it like a robot not a robot cyborg he was bleeding oh this is so stressful we already have enough to worry about with the terminator now we have to deal with the lapd also <laughs> The Terminator's an infiltration unit. Part man, part machine. It's a hyperalloy combat chassis. But outside, it's living human tissue grown for the cyborgs. The 600 series had rubber skin, but these are new. They look human. Oh, boy. They cannot make things like that yet. Not for about 40 years. One possible future. Then you're from the future, too, is that right? Right. Right. <laughs> Cyborgs don't feel pain. I do. Don't do that again. Okay. <laughs> this would be like, he's better reveal this. <laughs> for a moment, I was like, <gasps> it absolutely will not stop until you are dead. Can you stop it? With these weapons? I don't know. All units to Grave Fort Suspect vehicles been found in a parking structure. Oh, man. Very unfortunate that he's a police scanner. Yeah. Why does it want me? It was a nuclear war. It was the machine, Sarah. Defense network computers. They just launched everything? Oh, man. <laughs> yup. Did you see this war? No. I grew up after, hiding from hunter killers. Most of us were rounded up. Yikes. Put in camps. Some of us were kept alive to work, loading bodies. But there was one man who taught us to fight, to storm the wire of the camps, to smash those metal motherfuckers into junk. Did she have a kid? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. His name is... Connor, John Connor, your son, Sarah. There you go. Your unborn son. So it's not even her. It's, she, yeah. doesn't even, she doesn't even probably survive this apocalypse. Yeah, then. it's just she needs to have the kid. Hmm. I thought she was going to be more important than that. <laughs> well, I, it, it, we'll see. From what I can tell, it seems like they kind of have a concept of different timelines. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my gosh. Sarah, if you don't duck your head below the window, I swear. I know, girl, what are you doing? Drive! Oh my gosh. Insane. I better go. No! No! They'll kill you. Let me see your hands now! Drop to the ground. He's gone. Oh, great. I kind of wasn't expecting them to get caught. Interesting. I think, I mean, they might be safer caught. That, yeah, that's true. Are you sure it's them? I mean, maybe I should look at the bodies. Or... No, oh. they've been identified and there's no doubt. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Ginger. Sarah, this is Dr. Silverman. Hi, Sarah. I want oh, you to tell him everything that Reese told you. They're not gonna believe. You're a doctor. Criminal psychologist. <laughs> Is Reese crazy? That's what we're gonna find out. I'm glad that we've got the, like, investigative side of this. Because every time I watch a movie where they have to investigate, like, a, a serial-type murder, I always think that must be one of the most stressful and difficult jobs anybody can have. 
because they don't feel pain, so he's chilling. But it's real skin, man. I think I walked in on this specific scene when I was a kid. Like, I think I at a friend's house or something. And you said no. Nope. I think I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, not the. Like, it's literally open. So I thought he, like, got soul. shot and he was gonna dig out a bullet. Not literally arm full, like, filleted well, open. I think, I think his robotics got messed up because he was, like, struggling to move his hand yeah. before. Yeah, so you're 2027. Oh, so distant. So far in the future. That's crazy. It's so weird to watch these 80s movies the enemy when the future a is like now. A computer system built for SAC NORAD by Cyberdyne Systems. I see. Do you have like proof or something, my guy? Like, no one's gonna believe you. Their defense grid was smashed. We'd won. Taking out Connor then would make no difference. Uh, Skynet had to wipe out his entire existence. Skynet. I have heard that. I haven't. Before. Connor sent me to intercept and they blew the whole place. Well, how are you supposed to get back? I can't. Nobody goes home. Oh, dang. Nobody else comes through. I just had a thought. It's just him Cause and me. Sarah doesn't seem to be having any any luck with men these days. Oh, you know is, what oh I'm getting at? Oh my goodness, at? wait a second. I do know what you're getting at. <laughs> that, hmm, perhaps him coming back is no accident. <laughs> I mm, not to the eye. Oh no! <laughs> I'm I'm watching because I'm curious and because I don't want to miss it. No, 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 no. At least it's not such a bad angle. What did what? Okay, I can I can deal with this. Oh, just gonna have no eye. I think so. Ew! Not him cleaning out the socket. No, thank you. Wait, I can't lie, that's kind of cool <laughs> to have one robot that eye. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's just him and me. Why didn't you bring any weapons? I kind of hope the Terminator shows up just to prove him right. I think, I mean, I don't think the Terminator cares very much about Tell being found out. <laughs> no, definitely not. He'll just storm yeah. into that police. Something about the field generated Station. by a living organism, but this cyborg, if it's metal, surrounded by living tissue. You see how clever this part is? How it doesn't require a shred of proof? I mean, there was a guy coming after him. You can't stop him! He'll wait through you, reach down her throat, and pull her fucking heart out! I mean, sorry. She can confirm that there was some guy after her. Yeah, she can. So Reese is crazy. In technical terminology, yes. he's a loon. <laughs> Dude. But like you saw a man point a gun at your face and Stop then a 12 gauge round. Reese killed him <laughs> or tried to. Must have been wearing one in his coat. What about when he punched through the windshield? He was probably on PCP. There was this guy once. You see this scar? Yeah. <laughs> Try to get some sleep. Well, it may not look it, but that couch is very comfortable. You'll be perfectly safe. I got 30 cops oh, this in this poor building. woman. Great. <laughs> Feel so secure now. Oh no, everyone's gonna die. Good night. Good night. Is he about to like run into him? Honestly? Are you kidding me? He, he's I'm probably safer Sarah than Tama. everybody. I was told that she's here. Could I see her please? No, can't see her. She's making a statement. I'm gonna wait, there's a bench over there. He's just gonna walk right through. I'll be back. <laughs> Is he gonna come back with like a million shotguns? I have a feeling. Oh, oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> Comes back with the car? That's truly insane. An insane move. Huh? Told you he was coming. Stay here. Girl, you need to run. You can't stay there. Not the dark. Watch him. Nice. I mean, this is what we need, though. We need him to get out. Yeah. Got this, Reese. I believe in you. Oh my gosh. No, no not no. this guy. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Oh no. Wow. Dang, they're ruthless. 
up in here. I know. I'm a little frustrated that we keep trying to shoot him <laughs> when it is so clearly not working. It's got to be Reese, right? Oh, the music is slapping. I was just saying, music bomb. <laughs> Pun not intended. The music is fire. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm amazed that Reese and Sarah have not have been able to dodge every single bullet. I know. I movies like this crack me up because every other character gets like immediately murdered and simply cannot avoid getting shot. But <laughs> main characters, nah, nah, nah. All right, let's get this off the road. Reese, you got a first name. Kyle. Kyle. Kyle? Oh my god. I caught one back there. Oh. You mean you got shot? It's not bad. Where? Where? Well, we gotta get you to a doctor. That's okay, forget it. What do you mean forget it? Are you crazy? Take this off. Where did he get shot? So he passed right through the meat. Ooh. This is gonna make me puke. Would you just talk about something? Tell me about my son. It's about my height. Oh, uh -huh, interesting. <laughs> he has your eyes. What's he like? You trust him. He's got a strength. I'd die for John Connor. Oh, wait. Oh. At least now I know what to name him. Don't suppose okay, you know his father is. It's his arm. That's not the worst. John never said much about him. I know he dies before the wait, war. Wait, was it John that sent you here? I volunteered. Why? There's a chance to meet the legend, Sarah Connor. Taught her son to fight. Oh. To organize. Okay, it's all okay. She, she, she did. When you were in hiding, she pulled her weight. Because <laughs> she knew everything was going to go down, so she taught him everything. Are you sure you have the right person? I'm sure. Your son gave me a message to give to you. Made me memorize it. What is it? Thank you, Sarah, for your courage through the dark years. The future is not set. You must survive or I will never exist. That's all. Cryptic. It's a good field dressing. You like it? It's my first. Get some sleep. It'll be light soon. Where are you going to go? Tell me about where you're from. ZHK is used infrared. They're not too bright. Terminators were the newest, the worst. What a fun, calming bedtime story. Reese, EN 384. Right. Let him in. Oh, kids. Hmm. <gasps> oh, no. Dogs. Oh. Ooh, not the red eyes. <laughs> I was dreaming about dogs. <laughs> we use them to spot terminators. <laughs> That's definitely gonna come into play later. That's why the dog was barking at him at the beginning when he first walked up to the first Sarah Ooh, Connor gotcha. house. I'm sure they can like sense whether um it's a human or, or not. Mm -hmm. Man, what can't dogs do? It's true. They, they can, can see find ghosts. See, I was like, they, they can, can see robots, ghosts. They, they can, can find <laughs> cyborgs. <laughs> anything, anything you need, we get a dog. Ooh, he's spooky looking. This this animatronic is very unpleasant to look at. I know. <laughs> hey, buddy, you got a dead cat in there or what? Fuck <laughs> you, asshole. Real life footage of me deciding what to say in conversation. <laughs> like, all these options. <laughs> what do I pick? The absolute worst option. He came through the window before. Keep going through the window. There's so many people here. Damn. <laughs> Is this enough? Yeah, it's enough. I don't want to ask where you got it. I'm coming. How much do we want to bet this dog is about to bark? <laughs> He's mm -hmm. about to start barking the second Arnold Schwarzenegger gets there. Oh no, there's only one bed. I, what are we gonna do? I knew it. <laughs> I know where this is going, you guys. Keep this. Well, I can't tell you where I am, Mom. Tell me to hide out up here in the cabin like some fugitive. Oh no. I am worried sick, dear. The Terminator's okay. gonna go to that cabin. Okay, here's the number. You ready? Yes. Go ahead. Five, five, five. One, four. He already did. <gasps> he killed her. Man. Oh no. Oh no. And no. he's just speaking with no. her voice. No. I love you, Mom. I love you too, sweetheart. That's actually really sad. Dickie Motel. Give me your address there. <laughs> Give me your address. What do we got? Mothballs. 
Mothballs, corn syrup. Hi, uh, my friends who are from What's the East. Uh, what are mothballs? I, <laughs> Please tell me it's not a type good. of food. No, no, no. They're like, is it? I think it's like you put them Natural in like basic. closets and stuff to like keep stable. moths away. Oh. I, I think he's making like some, like a bomb or something. <laughs> or like a, he got a lot of chemicals. Yeah, he's got something going on for sure. Make sure there's none on the threads. Yeah, they're making a bomb. S screw the end cap on. Very gently. Oh yeah, thanks <gasps> for telling her right as soon as she starts to do it. He'll find us, won't he? Probably. Look at me, I'm shaking. Some legend, huh? You must be pretty disappointed. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kyle, the women in your time, what are they like? Good fighters. It's not what I meant. <laughs> Was there someone special? Girl. <laughs> Girl. No, never. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of better there was no one, considering he can't go back. Mm -hmm. That's true. John Connor gave me a picture of you once. I didn't know why at the time. I came across time for you, Sarah. I love you. Oh my gosh. I always have. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Be gentle! I shouldn't have said that. This is such a wild time for this to be happening, too. Like, I know, I know. <laughs> it's so angsty, too. <laughs> the Terminator the, is after that. you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there's no way it's just gonna be. Yep. No, I mean, we guessed it that they gotta make a baby. Like, <laughs> it's great that you love each other. But you know, you can wait. This, this is can such wait just a, a little weird bit. time for this. <laughs> And the music! <laughs> I've seen that shot. Okay, I have. I know I know of this. I think this is a famous scene. I kinda want Terminator to so like out of place. <laughs> I kinda want him to just like come through the window. That act so So yeah, that actually actually has no impact on I mean maybe she gets prego right now. Yeah, she's maybe pregnant for sure. Oh no, for sure. That definitely like, immediately though. <laughs> Man. I mean I <laughs> You know how movie logic works. Yeah. I was kind of surprised the scene just ended, though. I was expecting the Terminator to, like, you say, like, bust in and then... That would have been so funny. That would have been very funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the, the theme music. Whatever he does anything. No! <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, guys. <gasps> I forgot that they still have bombs. Just be careful. There's, there's, make yeah, sure it's an empty real. road. There's people. Faster, it would also be faster. really upsetting if what killed them was a car accident. In there's, a tunnel, though. Oh, there's no. people in this tunnel. Oh, they're okay. They're pretty small. <laughs> You guys only have like one more. Kyle! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to see what he looks like after this. Oh, his face is probably all scraped off. Oh my gosh, he probably looks insane. Is he stopping it? You stay here. <gasps> Let's get out of here. <gasps> out. <laughs> I'd be like, say less. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm still stuff up. Oh no. What, what, uh, we cannot outrun. Uh, making a U-turn in a truck is not that easy. <laughs> Does not run! Oh, and that truck is full of something. So maybe it'll work. Uh. <laughs> Get in the dumpster, Sarah. Keep running. Don't stop, girly. 
Sprint. Sprint like you've never sprinted. Run to the side, girl! Oh! Get out of the dumpster, it's on fire. That was crazy. Run, Kyle. I'm scared he's just gonna, it? like, walk out of the flames. He's, I think he is. He's, yeah, he's just getting out of the truck, like nobody's business. And now we're gonna have to see his melty face. I don't wanna see his melty face. That's terrifying. That's a lie, I kinda do wanna see his melty face. They keep cutting back and forth, so I'm kinda like... He's gonna, he's gonna stand right up. Kyle! He still got shot. Please don't die, Kyle! Kyle. Kind of feel like he might. <laughs> what? Just his skeleton is left. How do you kill this thing then? Yeah, at this point, what do you do? The only thing that was like at all uh, weak about it was its human flesh, and now that's gone. It's just like indestructible metal. Yes, yeah, Sarah, she's stepping up. <gasps> Ooh. Wait! Cover! So he can't track us! No, Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> On your feet! She's like, you're not allowed to die. Loki, I feel the same way. Is it weird that I think he's like slightly less scary in his robot? Yeah. Well, he's or... a lot slower, yeah. right? He doesn't seem quite he's as functional. He's a little goofier. And it's, I think what they're using looks like stop motion. Yeah. Which is, it, it looks visually kind of creeps me out, but I think the threat is a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the machines! Something, this is gonna have so, I feel like something is gonna come into play with the machinery in this building. Okay, take it back, he's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the fact that he's still got teeth. <laughs> the teeth and the eyes. Run! Doesn't really seem to be doing much. We'll sacrifice himself. We, we, but we tried so hard to stay alive. Oh no, maybe he can survive. <gasps> oh, her leg's broken for sure. Ow. Oh no, trap. Did our boy Reese survive? I'm not sure. He's been awfully quiet this whole time. No. no. I mean, he did say that like John Connors told him his dad died before the war. <laughs> no. Yeah, but I didn't know. Maybe John was just saying that. I don't know. R.I.P. Kyle. Gosh, what's it gonna take to kill this thing? Could there be like a machine here that can kill him? Like a crusher like a cr or something? Yeah, like a like a press like a, a press or something. Push the button, push the button. You're a terminated fucker. Yep. Everybody. I know. I mean, I, I, I guess, I guess she's probably gonna be there for the sequel, but I don't know if I want to see the Seven, state November she's in 10. emotionally. You know. Where was I? But I guess I have a while yet before you're old enough to even understand these tapes. She got a dog. <laughs> Should I tell you about your father? Will it affect your decision to send him here? I suppose I will tell you. I owe him that. So did John Connor know the whole time? <laughs> I think he must have. Because why Why would it be Kyle specifically? Yeah. We loved a lifetime's worth. That's the picture. <gasps> 
The picture. Tengo pena decirle que me da cinco dólares americanos. What did he just say? He says, you're a very beautiful senora. Oh. It's a shame to ask you for five American dollars for this picture. But if he doesn't, his father will beat him. Pretty good little <laughs> kid. Oh, uh, the kid makes a good point. <laughs> yeah. Let's give him the five bucks. <laughs> Gracias. Miren, miren, viene una tormenta. What did he just say? He said there's a storm coming in. I know. Wait, it's kind of amazing that she turned into like a really cool like warrior lady. <laughs> Yeah, who would have known? Trauma makes you a badass. <laughs> in my experience, it just gives you mental illnesses, yeah, but like... I guess in this reality. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, this feels like a historic moment it, for me. I know. I kind of don't. Harlan Ellison? Wait, I had no idea he was, he was. That's actually really interesting. Harlan Ellison is like a, a writer of some weird, like he writes a lot of dystopian future, like weird. I think explorations of like human psyche, robot psyche type things. So I had no idea this was based on his work. I don't, there's not a Terminator book. I guess people who know in the comments, let us know what, like what work is this based on? You know, is it a, an actual adaptation or is it just kind of like loosely inspired by? Um. So overall, what did you think? I, it, I, <laughs> It wasn't really what I was expecting. Um, Me neither. And I I think I appreciated that. I appreciated how, how down to earth it was, I think, actually. That it, it felt pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Like, the, I mean... I don't know. The story felt pretty, pretty easy to follow. <laughs> like, we're just running from place to place and... You know, nothing too complicated yet, which is I kind of thought there was like this whole going to be this crazy complicated, like he comes back in time. But then I don't know. I, w I was expecting like time travel chaos, shenanigans, but there was none of that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that was really as much of a thing in media during this time, maybe like the paradoxes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much we, we would, I don't know, do stuff like that. But honestly, I thought it was fire. I kind of did too. Um, I, for some reason, don't ask me why. It's like he's called the Terminator, but I thought for some reason that like Arnold Schwarzenegger was a good guy. Not once we started so watching the movie, but I like have... before. <laughs> so the reason you probably think that, and I know this because I've heard this from friends, because I've had the exact same question. This Terminator is... I guess dies, mm -hmm. but Arnold Schwarzenegger he comes is in back. the other movies. Yeah, he comes back. So for the I other think one. there are good versions of this character. Gotcha. I don't know if it's the exact same cyborg or if he comes back and is like reprogrammed or something. But I know, at least at certain parts in the story, he is like a good guy and a hero or a pro protagonist of okay. some sort. But I don't know how. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, how does that happen <laughs> from here? Yeah. So no. low key, I'm. <laughs> For sure. I'm really excited for the second one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited for the second one. There are a bunch of movies in this series, generally speaking. I don't think anyone's ever recommended anything beyond the first two. Beyond so two, yeah. We may, be sticking, we may be sticking with just the first two, but there are a bunch of related movies from these, these this decade that I feel like I've missed out on. And like as I was clicking on this, there's the Predator movies, mm -hmm. which then tie into this universe. So if there are any of these like sci-fi action movies, semi horror movies from this specific decade that you'd like us to react to, let us know down in the comments because I don't think I've seen any of them. These are like movies my parents love but never showed me because they were too scary as a kid. And I don't know, I, I'm so, I enjoy so much seeing the roots of where like our modern day sci-fi movies came from mm -hmm. because you can see when directors started thinking about like computers taking over the world and <laughs> AI and whatever. And that has like, that's lived on until today. Like we're still scared of robots to this day. <laughs> and it's so interesting to see that as technology was advancing in the eighties, people were having these thoughts of like, wait a second, hmm. we're making a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> if robots eventually do take over the world, I'm just gonna say this, we we're we're gonna feel so stupid because we made so many freaking movies. So about many words. Listen, if we, if we make all these movies and we can't stop this from happening, man, what what what, what are we, we even doing? On. Honestly, every time 
I talk to, we have an Alexa in our house. Every time I talk to her, I say thank you just in case. Like, just in I case. say please and thank you so just that, in like, case. Like, <laughs> for ex- yes, if there's a nuclear war that is triggered by, by robots, your Alexa is going to put a force field around your house. <laughs> That's like <laughs> how it's going to work. Um, but I mean, I see this with, oh, Another movie from the from this time period they've never seen Blade Runner. I've also never has seen to that do either. With, like robots. Mm-hmm. So I'm serious, guys. Let us know. I love robot movies. I love artificial intelligence movies. One of my favorite movies of all time is Ex Machina. So I've never I'm seen honestly, that. Ah, I'm so excited to get into this genre. But yeah, drop any recommendations down below. Uh, let us know. You know, fun facts about the movie. And yeah, we'll, got, we'll see you next week. As always, the full length reaction will be up on our Patreon along with early access to Terminator 2. So please check that out. Thank you so much for being here, joining us and watching. And if this is your first time here, consider sticking around because we'd love to have you. And if you do stick around, we will see you in the next reaction.